Hi sports fans, this is Play It Right TV. I'm Kenito Hanson. We've got a very, very super special guest for you in this episode. And uh, first off, Diane, my, my partner in crime, will be with us. And Ayan, <laughs> partner who... in sports. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome once again to Play It Right TV. Of course, we are talking about sports. And you know, when we talk about succeeding in Philippine sports, we need to have successful, we need to have very good leaders in our national sports associations and our sports agencies. So with us, of course, a guy brand new in the job. Who is he? He's in the hot seat. He's (laughs) fresh in that seat. He just took his oath at Malacanang. And we want to welcome for the very first time as the new Philippine Sports Commission Chairman, Richard Dickey with a Y, Bachman. (laughs) Hi there, Dickey. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, Chairman, uh, our very first question to you is, were you taken by surprise? And how did this appointment come about, considering that there was a previous chairman who sat uh, on your seat for 120 days, Noli Ayala, but he never got to take his oath, and then you came into the picture. How did that happen? Uh, basically, uh, a month and a half ago, uh, I was asked if I was interested uh, to actually become the PS, uh, PSC chairman. And at first, I was shocked because I knew Chairman Nolly was actually uh, in there, in, the, in that position for the past uh, how many months already. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they said that um, he would actually be uh, replaced soon and... I, I just told him, I, just give me a couple of days to think about it, and I'll get back to them. Uh, so I talked to my family, uh, and I talked to some friends, especially, of course, you know, I, I talked to my brother. And I went back to the uh, presidential management group, and I said, uh, I, I, you know, I, I told them that my brother is an NSA of, 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 the, of Philippine sports. Squash. And I told them yeah. for sports. And I go, I just told them that if this will affect my brothers being an NSA, then I don't want this. Mm-hmm. I will get out apply. Then also I told them also, I, I know also my brother was in the running uh, or applied for the PSC chairmanship. And mm-hmm. I just told him, that, uh, I told him that basically if he is still being considered, then I, don't, I, will, not, I will withdraw my, my application or my letter of intent. I would rather give it to my brother. So they came back to me and said, you know, um, this will not affect your brother. And we are not actually considering your brother. He's not in the running. And then I decided that, you know, um, if, if since everything's clear, then I would be interested. Because my father played for Philippine sports, uh, for the Philippine team. I played for the Philippine team before. And mm-hmm. I will not turn my back to, to the uh, Philippine athlete or Philippine sports, you know. I would rather do it. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a busy year for Philippine sports. But, you know, before that, you were saying that you were quite happy with the numerous positions that you have with the LOC and the UAAP. So how we, and I know the last time we talked, you said you had to sort it out first with them. So how is that going to go with your, with your positions yeah. that you held prior to this appointment? Yeah, so basically, I have to let go of my all my positions, right? So I'm right now into trans, uh, basically talking to all my uh, employers for FIBA. I'm, I'll be meeting, uh, which is uh, Al Palnillo tomorrow. And then mm-hmm. for the UAAP, I'll be meeting uh, them on Friday. And I, I, I already spoke to the PBA. They all agreed already. And I found my replacement. And we are actually going to meet... Uh, I'll be actually planning for my transition uh, tomorrow for the LOC. And who were your successors, uh, if I might ask, uh, Chairman? For uh, the, for UAAP, the UAAP, for yeah, the for LOC, the, and also for yeah, the PBA. For the, yeah, for the UAAP, basically, it's going to be Ronnie Magsalok because I think he already handled the PBA, uh, the UAAP 3x3 last year. So it makes sense yes. that he just, he just was his follow-up for this for this year and finished the UAAP. Um, and then for my for the LOC, basically it's a uh, it's gonna be Erica D who will be taking a uh, most of my art my 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 uh, chores in the LOC. So it's a combination of everyone chipping into and add add more work. All my responsibilities will be up and distributed 
to among the operations and venues. And what about the nice. PBA 3X3? Uh, PBA 3X3, basically, it's going to be uh, Joey, Joey uh, Guanyo and Jack Ruby uh, who will be actually taking over. Wow, now, okay. I'll be helping out the FIBA LOC in a different capacity because, uh, you know, um, they, uh, the PSC will be actually helping out the FIBA LOC because all the funding coming from government will pass through the PSC. Mm, okay. It will be to the FIBA LOC. Yeah. Well, um, have you started office? Well, you just took your oath today, and I know you just arrived from overseas. So, uh, in your mind, I mean, there's so much to do, but what you can share with us, what are some of your first missions? Okay, so what I did today was... Chairman. Yeah, what I did today was I was in the... Uh, I went to the PSC in Rizal Memorial at 6.45 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to meet the, you know, the security guards, the people cleaning the facility, and then I didn't want, I didn't want to tell anyone I was coming because I just wanted to do it myself to have my first hand look of the, of the facility. I went around and walked uh, to all the training facilities. Mm. Uh, in, the, in Rizal in, Memorial. In Rizal Memorial. Uh -huh. Okay, and then um, I saw. You know, I went through the Nino Aquino Stadium. I went to the swimming. I went to the tennis, the baseball. So mm. I went to the museum. So that was all, uh, all information. And you know, I just realized that there's so much things to do in that in that facility. Uh, we ha I have to, we have to fix. Okay. And then I met. Uh, I went straight to ready to the my oath taking. Okay. I came back around before 12, and I met the three commissioners. I sat them down for uh, for maybe two and a half to three hours. Uh, we met mm -hmm. about, because uh, there's a lot of discussions we had to look into uh, because of the, all the paperwork that um, the former chairman did uh, the past four months. So uh, yeah. we had to take a look at everything, each one of them. You know, and I was uh, shocked to see that, you know, in one in one board meeting, it's not only, you know, one, two pages. It's like a stack full of pages, but it's all sports. So <laughs> just imagine that he, had, he already worked on like six board meetings, six, you know, approvals. Of, so I had to catch up a lot of reading. Okay. And yeah. then I, after that, I went through, I called in the department heads one by one. Mm -hmm. uh, just to meet with them, and I actually did finish actually meeting with. The, I'll continue that tomorrow, and then I'll move on from there. Wow, so busy day! Busy, day busy be, day. <laughs> my day will be full tomorrow, also. <laughs> oh, what a loaded schedule! Uh, but Chairman, uh, what are your uh, what are your top of mind priorities as a uh, uh, as, as I yeah, I also as I communicated to the, my commissioners like. Uh, since the Southeast Asian Games is around the corner, my fo my term will focus on the athlete. Okay, when I say athlete, I will you know what's this? Focus on the make sure that uh, the allowances of the athletes are are given on time. Because mm -hmm. I've heard that basically some some athletes are uh, all the allowances are delayed. So yeah, that will not happen on my watch because I, that's why I already met the the head of finance. And I made sure, and I'm making sure that this doesn't happen again. Uh, it's some some way to motivate the motivate the athlete uh, uh, when it's when the South Asian Games are is around the corner. Also, I will focus on with the athlete is the nutrition. Okay, and that I, we have to make sure that the athlete is, you know, uh, given proper nutrition for them to perform well. Okay, so th those are my short term my my sh my short term uh, goals right now. I also have others like a players' lounge. I went through the, I went through the facility in in Rizal Memorial, but there is a players' lounge, but it's closed. There's nothing in it. That's okay. right. <laughs> and um, you know, an athlete can't just come in there and just uh, just just train. You know, they need some. They need to relax too. So uh, I plan to fix the the players' lounge. Nice. Okay. And then yeah. also. I need to improve also the relationship between the NSA and the PSC. Um, 
I, it, you know, the, the, the NSA also has grassroots. The PSC does grassroots. I think somehow mm -hmm. both, both uh, departments have to collaborate and communicate with each other because, you know, um, um, we have to be on the same page, basically, with the yeah. NSA and the PSC. Okay, you an NSA just can't come to the PSC and say, I need this budget. I need the PSC also has to know why you need that budget. You know, I have to go see your training also. Right? That's why I'm, I'm blessed that basically I was able to see um, the training of um, Kaloi, Kaloi Yulo uh, before he left. I think he left the day for Japan. So I was there in Intermuros and saw the facilities, saw them train. And I, I met all the athletes, and I really do appreciate the hard work these athletes put in day in day out. Yeah. Uh, and then also, you have also the POC. Uh, I basically have to improve the relationship of the POC. Um, I'm, I'm I'm gonna. They, the POC wrote me a letter, a congratulatory letter. So I'm supposed to respond to that, and I'm gonna ask the POC that for the the PSC to form an, a working group. And, uh, and the POC form a working group, and then we collaborate to, for all events leading up to the Olympics. Okay, so basically, uh, if we win, then we all win together. Now, if we lose, we also all lose together. Walang turuan, you know, we, if we lose, we, we, uh, what's this? we assess what went wrong, what we did wrong, what we did right, and then we work at it again, and, and what's this, serve the athlete. Right. Well, they all sound really good. Chairman, um, what is going to be your basic um, policy for funding? As you know, you know, sports takes a lot of funding. We have, a, especially we have a lot of um, athletes training overseas, like Kaloy, EJ, Heidelin. Um, what are your, what are your uh, thoughts on that? How are you well, I'm going to try to, I'm going to have to try to look at the, I'm not even there yet. You know, I haven't actually looked at the budget. I know, the budget was passed by Nolly, uh, uh, Chairman Nolly, um, last year. So I have to take a look at that. And all I received today was the budget requirements per NSA. So mm -hmm. I have to go through you know, everything and then discuss it with the, the board. How much of a budget, uh, Chairman, will the PSC be getting this coming year? Uh, uh, it close to close to two billion because you also have the. Uh, you also have the what's this the the FIBA Asian World Cup games. and the, mm. and the other events. Uh, I think the biggest budget will go to the FIBA hosting the FIBA World Cup. World Cup. Mm -hmm. okay, Out so of the two billion budget, may I ask, Chairman, how much of that will go to player allowances? Would it be yeah. half? Uh, I would think it will be half, more, even more than half with the, with the, with the allowances. Of all the players, mm -hmm. and the coaching, even the coaching staff. Okay. Yeah, Chairman. Overall, looking at our athletes, we have a big year this year. Sea Games, Asian Games, FIBA World Cup. So many wow, qualifying. This is a big qualifying year for the Paris Olympics. Um, what do you think it's going to take for our athletes to? do better internationally and especially to have more athletes qualify for the Paris Olympics? I think it's going to take for, the, for us to, for a total support uh, with that, that be, be it the PSC, be it the POC, and even the private sector to support our athletes. Even the people from the, our employees in the PSC, but of, of my back of house, you know, you know, when you talk about allowances with, and no delays in the allowances, and fixing, it, fixing the structure of the allowances, it's my people in the PSC that have to actually work with me and that we actually serve the athlete. Again, mm -hmm. uh, you know, total communi uh, which is communication with the POC, teamwork with the PSC and the private sector. We need all the help to support these athletes. Chairman, uh, what about uh, meeting with uh, the previous uh, Philippine Sports Commission chairman? Is that part of your agenda? Maybe I to really learn mistakes or, or good things yeah yeah i already talked to him i spoke to him uh a few days ago and um i will actually i told him after my oath taking i would like to if you allow me to sit down with with uh i would like to sit down with him and and get you some mean, 
Ah, you mean former me. former Chairman Nolly? Yeah, former Chairman Nolly. Also, yeah. I will also call uh, uh, Butch Ramirez. Butch Ramirez, mm. yeah. Okay. Basically, uh, uh, basically, he's been a, a PSC chairman longer, and I would also want to get his inputs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I've been talking to some of the NSAs already just to get uh, inputs on, you know, the the good and the bad of the PSC. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to come in blind, so I just want to get more information. And and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to fix the, uh, the PSC slowly. Uh, slowly but surely. And what about uh, yeah. POC President Mayor Bumble Tolentino? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm sure he wrote me a letter. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, what's his? I'm supposed. I'll reach out to him and you know discuss because basically, for uh, for us to serve the athlete, we have to work together. Yeah, Chairman. Um, this year, are you 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 foresee? Are you going to be approving a lot of foreign training travel for our elite athletes competing in the major competition? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna to have to take a look at the budget and, and take take a look at the because they submitted their budget to me and I have to take a look at it. So I, I saw a lot of the foreign coaches. I saw a lot of tournaments uh, in all sports. Okay, mm -hmm. so 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 basically, I, uh, then I have to take a look at the budget and see you know, what what the PSC can afford. You know, if if we can't uh, if kung kung medyo kulang, then you know I have to actually uh, search for funds and hopefully. Uh, the private sector or the POC can help me out. Well, Chairman, yeah, uh, you were you were in the Alaska organization for was it something like nine years? Alaska Perhaps even more. The Alaska, Alaska organization. Okay, from from a player to to becoming a uh, in the Alaska organi organization, basically, is twenty five years. Oh, 25 wow. years. Okay, but as uh, as when you took over from uh, Waki Trillo. As a, yeah. a team manager, that yeah. spanned how many years? So basically, I um, I played for seven years, and then I coached for another ten years, and then the rest of it was rest was managing already uh, the team okay, so and, I, and, yeah. and handling all the grassroots programs of Alaska. So that's basically football, basketball, and volleyball. Well, Plus, tell us about the junior NBA. Okay, tell us about that experience being an executive in the Alaska organization, and also your experience as a former PBA Board of Governors Vice Chairman and Treasurer. How much of that experience do you feel will enrich your stay in the PSC? Uh, definitely, it will, it will, it will help me uh, which is, uh, perform better in the PSC because uh, part of the agenda of the PSC is for grassroots. And I would, um, and, and, you know, um, that's where I, I I actually learned a lot from the Alaska power camps. So we did we did power camps uh, all over Metro Manila, even in the provinces. So not only in basketball, but uh, foot, football and and what's this and volleyball. So I'm gonna use what I've learned in the in the power camps and bring it to the PSC. Nice. Um, Chairman, um, so you have three commissioners now. Are you go? Is, will there be one more coming? And will you be like designating each one to different like uh, responsibilities? And how are you going to divide the work? Yeah, basically, we're not finished yet. We did. We started doing that today, uh, and dividing the sports. Uh, we we categorize all the sports, and then we uh, we had to divide it into four. Uh, the the mm -hmm. fourth commissioner is Walapas. Walapa. So I was asking if I could actually designate my own, my choice to be, become the commissioner, the fourth commissioner. But I won't, you know, I'll, I'll wait on the president to tell me if, if, it, if it's allowed or he'll do the, the nominating the, the commissioner. Uh, Chairman, what about the PSE's self-initiated projects? like the Philippine National Games, the Batang Pinoy, will those be part of your agenda? Yes. Uh, one thing I, I, I actually, that the Batang Pinoy, basically it's all good, right? But I think the, the mistake here is basically the, some of the, it's not coordinated with the, almost all of the NSAs. Like I was talking to my brother uh, this morning. I go, well, why, why, why weren't you in the uh, Batang Pinoy? Then he uh -huh. goes, there's, 
And he just told me there's no squash. No mm-hmm. one can squash there. And I go, I go, well, you know, there's a lot of kids there. You can actually find a kid there with uh, with talent, speed, you know, long arms, you know, and you can actually convert him into a squash player. You know, you have you have a number of kids available there or talent there, you know, that you can actually choose. You know, so that's the key also, you know, that's a PSC project. But we also have to coordinate with all NSAs. Because he may not be good for squash or may not be good for basketball, but he can be actually be good for other sports. Yeah, so, so we that have to talent play. identification is also very critical, especially yeah. in the grassroots area. And yeah. the, you mentioned also about nutrition. Um, there is an organization within the PSC called the Philippine Sports Institute. Is that yeah. still ongoing? Uh, I, 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 have, I actually haven't taken a look at it. But, um, I, you know, right now I'm, I'm talking about even the canteens. Uh, I think the canteens were closed uh, for a couple of months. So now, you know, I, you know, it has to be, we have to open it up and, and, and free food, uh, free meals for the athletes and good meals, you know, because uh, so, right now, right now the Southeast Asian Games are around the corner and they need to be fed properly. That's super good news for the athletes. I'm sure gonna, they're going to appreciate that, having good fuel. And you mentioned earlier about um, having gone around the facilities. Are yeah. we going to expect um, an upgrade of the, I, of I'm, the facilities? Uh, my fingers crossed. I'm hoping. And, you know, uh, I would like, you know, one, one sport was um, in um, the gymnastics. You know, yeah. uh, they, they train. They train in Intermuros, sponsored by. It's the sponsored by the MVP group. You know, uh, but yeah. I also have my my training facility in PSC, uh, which is uh, needs help. So I'm hoping to have the collaborate with the MVP group and you know help me out also with the my my facility, the, the facility of the gymnastics in in the Rizal Memorial. But Chairman, what about uh, the facilities in Kapastarlat, the National Training Center there, and also the uh, the Academy of Sports in Bataan? How will PSC interface with those two facilities? Then there's also that Inspire Academy in Laguna, which is also a great uh, training grounds for uh, yeah. for future athletes uh, run by the SM Group. Yeah, I have to actually uh, actually talk talk to all the stakeholders. You know, I. You know, I have actually haven't actually visited the ultra yet. I'll do that tomorrow, and I have to go to Baguio also and visit the facilities there. Uh, there's also plans for Bataan, but I, I really don't know if you know athletes will go to Bataan to train when it's all done. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. actually just bare, bare land right now. You know, mm-hmm. it, you know, some athletes are also having a hard time going to Clark, you know, to train there. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. so I actually have to talk to uh, and meet with all the stakeholders. Well, there's yeah. a lot on your plate, uh, Chairman, and I we're know. very excited for you. Because first of all, we're sorry, we we're see- sorry that we have to ask so many questions yeah. right? on the day on day one. Where yeah. well, we just want to say, we just want to say, Chairman, that Diane and I are very supportive and have Thank been supportive you. of the PSC and the POC and all Philippine sports, all Filipino athletes, and we welcome and we're so excited that you're now the man in the hot seat. Because we feel that you're fit for the job. I think you have a passion for it. You've shown in your experience, not just as an athlete, but also as an executive in sports, that, um, yeah, you can get the job done. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Thank so, you Chairman, so- I'm, you know, I'm sure a lot of uh, athletes will, some are, uh, have already been texting saying, ano kaya ang mangyayari sa amen sa pamumuno ni, ni Dicky Bachman? What message would you like to give to our athletes? As the yeah. new chairman of the PSC, when I say I know, when I say basically we're gonna focus on athletes, I only I don't mean only one sport. I'm gonna focus on all sports. If you look at the commissioners, how we're made up, it's all made up of different different sports. I'm not only basketball. You know, I worked with volleyball players. I worked with with uh, football players. So I will take care of every athlete, every Filipino athlete. That I promise. Good news. Uh, yeah, good All news right. and strong news. Um, by the way, um, the National uh, S- uh, Squash Training Center uh, has been opened. And, uh, you know, that came before your watch. So people can't say it was because of your relationship with your brother. But uh, there will be a February uh, competition involving masters. 
I don't know the end if um, may, maybe we can we can compete. <laughs> but there's a jumbo doubles uh, event. And there's also a masters event. So you know, I'm glad that uh, squash is not going to be. Uh, squash is making strides internationally. It's a pity yeah. though that squash will not be in the Southeast Asian Games calendar. But um, yeah. especially since squash did very well in yeah. the last uh, Southeast Asian Games, Chairman. Yeah, that's that's also one of the pro the problems right now of uh, the allowances. The more because if you look at if you look at the different allowances of the players, you have a class A, B, and C. And yeah. This, and these C players. You know, how can they go up to an A class when, you know, most of their sports are not included in any events? Okay. So, right, right. Uh, that's also actually hard for them. So we actually uh, have to create tournaments and they have to find tournaments. The NSA has to find tournaments for them that can actually, you know, we can actually increase their, their class to maybe a B or A. But so, but they have to find tournaments equivalent to a, like a Southeast Asian Games. And then, then they can uh, become, uh, go up the ladder. Right. We'll, well again, get some sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a brand new day. I, know, and, I, know. Uh, hope, I hope that you will continue to train yourself because I know that you're a guy who likes to keep fit and yeah. that's, that's, that's very important. So keep it up, Chairman. And uh, Kenita and I look forward to chatting with you again really soon. Yeah, and also, if there's people uh, that I respect in sports, it's you and Kenito. So if you have any comments or, or to help me out, just text me, just message me. My doors are open. Well, thank you very much, Chairman, thank for you, that. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank um, you for your time. Our respect is mutual. And thank you again. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, All Chairman. Right. God bless. Happy thank New you. Year. Well, great news coming from the Chairman. I think this was his first totally online and on the air interview. And uh, it was great that uh, the chairman uh, gave us the opportunity to speak with him on Play It Right TV. Dan, uh, yeah, another well, exciting you know, episode, especially since it was so insightful. Yeah, well, you can see that, you know, I mean, so much has to be done. So much he has to transition to and parang kulang talaga yung <laughs> kulang yung isang araw. And it, I, I know that his days are going to be very long. So we wish him all the best. We're very excited. You know, it's great that he's been an athlete. He's been a, a coach. He's been a manager. He's been a sports executive. So he, he definitely is has all the, the qualities to hopefully make it better for the athletes. And um, I like what he said now. He was going to really try to develop other sports, you know, not just the popular sports or young, young sports that, you know, have a, uh, have more participation in SEA Games. Because the, the Class A athletes are those that have won gold medals in the SEA Games, but a lot of these sports are not actually included. So, walang chance. So, uh, that should be very inspiring for athletes. So, again, well, Chairman yeah. Dickie Backman, good luck and God bless. Total support from the entire sports community of the Philippines for the newly installed Philippine Sports Commission Chairman. Dickie Backman. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed our episode. Dito sa Play It Right TV. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's a brand new year. Uh, we'd also like to invite you to visit playitright.com that sells wonderful sports products to support the sporty and active lifestyle. They have the best brands, great prices, after New Year sale. Please check them out, playitright.com. And that's it for us uh, for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. This is Kenito Henson. Play it right all the time. See you next time. God bless.